what is up, YBP gang, YBP nation, YBP boxing, YBP MMA. Coming at y'all with a fight update from the UFC or from um, Scraps MMA on Instagram. Not sure if it's officially official or if it's in the books, but it looks like for UFC 292, they're steering towards another bantamweight banger with Henry Cejudo going up against Chito Marlon Vera. Um, it's going to be a really big fight. Uh, you could tell um, or you can see why uh, Henry Cejudo would want to be on that UFC 292 card as the headline is Aljamain Sterling, his former foe, going up against the cash cow of the man to weight division, Sean O'Malley, Sugar Sean O'Malley. Um, so him being there in presence, gets that win over Chito Vera, could, you know, stake his shot. You know, get right in Aljo's face after the fact. He's been very vocal about um, wanting to get that Marab matchup at some point. Um, it looks like Marab has a hand injury, a lot of stuff going on with him. Um, ever since that, the Yan fight, and quite frankly, I don't think Marab needs, or like, to solidify his stake at the number one contendership, he doesn't need to fight Emmy Sudo, in my opinion. I think um, beating Yan is, you know, more than enough. And even if Cejudo beats um, Cheeto Vera, which I think he will, uh, I'll get into that in a second. Um, even if he does beat Cheeto Vera, um, that doesn't amount to all the stuff Marab has been doing like up until this point, all the wins he's had. And then, uh, where was I going with this? Oh, yeah, because it feels like I feel like Cejudo, up until this point, has just been getting, like, opportunities just based off, like, what he's done at other weight classes and, like, his past accomplishments or in this weight class as well, I guess. Um, when in reality, I mean, we got to really take into account, like, what has he done? All he's really done up until this point is lose a close fight to Aljamain Sterling. So off a win versus Cheeto Vera, shouldn't directly just shoot him up into, into the title shot. Um, he's going to need, like, way more. Maybe Jan, um, he won a Marab. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, I don't think he really needs – I think Marab has that title shot locked up against the winner of Aljamain Sterling and uh, Saudo. Or, no, sorry, Aljamain Sterling and O'Malley. But we know O'Malley's going to move up. Uh, if he wins, I don't know what happens if he loses. It's a lot of stuff going on there. But, you know, that's why I just say, like, um, if you're not blood-related, man, just fight. You know what I mean? I, I don't care how close of friends – you know, because in the UFC, you don't know when, um, you know, like at any point in time, like Marab could break his leg and now he can't fight for the UFC belt just because he was trying to stay loyal to his, you know, his friends. So I just say, man, just fight, you know, fight, fight whoever, man, even if it's your friend, man, like, you know, it's it's all love in the end. It's a sport, you know, it's not like you're going out there to kill him, you know, so. But anyways, back to the actual fight. Um, Cejudo, Marlon Vera. Um, Cheeto's coming off of a very dominated performance or getting dominated by Corey Sandhagen. Um, back in UFC, was it UFC San Antonio? I think it was. Um, just, I mean, bell to bell, 50-45s. Um, I didn't think he won a single round. It was bad. Maybe the last round, but... You know, that's, that's the problem with um, Cheeto Vera. He has sort of a slow, patient style, kind of weight stalks you, um, and then kind of needs that knockout. He went up against a durable guy who can move very well on the feet, um, dodged a lot of those punches, even mixed in a little bit of wrestling. Like, Corey Sandig is becoming a, a real all-around contender at this weight class. So, really cool seeing that. Um, yeah, man, I mean... I just don't see a path in which uh, Zahudo can win. I mean, he has power, but um, like I said, this is a three-round fight, which I, mean, I think it's, cause it's not main event. It's a three-round fight. Um, this is just not – I mean, everything's working against Cheeto Vera. It's, you know, it's, it's a three-round fight. Zahudo's a great wrestler, pretty good on the feet as well, moves pretty well too, um, decent kicks as well. Got some of the best IQ in that division. Um 
just gonna be a lot of issues. Like he's gonna have to catch Sohudo. Like that's an over over a fifteen minute fight. Maybe I give him a chance if it was like a, a full, you know, twenty five minute fight, but it's only fifteen minutes, man. You got fifteen minutes to crack Sohudo essentially. Cause I know people say, oh, like you know, Vera has like some jujitsu, some stuff like that. I didn't see that at all in the Corey Sandhagen fight. He was on his back for a while and had no urgency. Um, or didn't even try to attempt to get up in a lot of those cases. Um, just kind of stood there. Didn't really know it. Looked like he knew, he knew what he was doing. Um, so that's just, that's just not good. Um, I could very much see, um, even though Corey wasn't able to finish him, I could see a ground and pound finish for sure. Um, but Cheeto's very tough. So it could go either way. But right now, I got... Man, I think yeah, I gotta go Sohudo by decision, but that's a lock. Like I, I think Sohudo by Sohudo by anything, man. Like when the, when the odds drop, man, like you gotta hammer those odds, man. I just there's no chance, there's no way, you know. Yesterday we had a really competitive matchup get announced. I really don't think this is even competitive. Like Sohudo's way above this. Um, now that I'm like thinking about who we could have fought. Um, Oh, I think, okay. So now I'm trying to see. Because Bantamweight's been very interesting as far as um, fights go. Because after after Corey had beat, after Corey had beat, or who did he beat? Um, Chido Vera. He called out. Um, he had called out Marab Devashvili. And then after, after Suhudo had lost, that's who the guy, that's the guy he was calling out too. So that... I don't know who's gonna get that fight, but it looks like Sohudo's moved on from it. So maybe we could see Corey versus um maybe we could see Corey versus uh Marab then. But if we just look at the rankings, obviously Aljamain Sterling, the champion number one, is defending his title against number two ranked Sean O'Malley. Number one, Marab is has a hand injury, so we don't know what's going on there. Number three ranked Henry Sohudo. Uh, we'll be facing off against uh, Marlon Vera. Corey Sanhagen, we don't know. So that's what I'm saying. Like, Corey and Marab could, could match up. Uh, Jan, I don't know what's up with Jan. I'm not going to lie. I thought I did, but... Because I, f- I felt like that was the fight. I felt like two guys coming off losses, it made sense for Jan to fight. Um, Piotr Jan to fight. <sighs> Cheeto Vera. Uh, my bad. I'm just trying to look up any matchups here. Maybe I'm forgetting something. No, he's, I'm not forgetting anything. Okay. So, Jan does never fight. Marab does never fight. Corey does never fight. Um, Font and Yadong are supposed to fight each other. Cruz is, doesn't never fight. And then there were talks about Umar fighting Corey Sanhagen. So that was another thing. Um, Giannis, I think Giannis is fighting someone. Giannis is fighting, uh, is he? I feel like he is. Or did he? He, he just got knocked out by someone, though. <laughs> about Rob Font. Okay, no, he doesn't have a fight schedule, so. For me, yeah, I think it should be. Um, I think Marab should just get the next title shot. Uh, oh, man, I I don't know. It feels wrong, but like, man, I mean, shoot, I I'm I don't have any problem with Umar fighting Corey right now. You know what I mean? I feel like he's he's that level, you know. And even in a loss, he's gonna jump the ranks just like that. But um, yeah, Bantamweight's kind of it's stacked, it's stacked division. I'm looking at all the fights, looking at all the fighters. It's a really good division. Kind of got off topic there, but um, uh, trying to match up the Bantamweight division, but nah, man, it's a uh, um. Definitely some some good fights in his future for sure. Uh, we just gonna have to see what happens. But yeah, this is a complete mismatch. I don't know what the UFC like what they were trying to do with this one. Um, it's not competitive at all. So who was gonna torch Marlon Vera? It's not gonna be close, like close at all. Bell to bell, round one to round three. Um, my official prediction: I have Sahudo by decision, but I wouldn't be surprised if he finished him. I'm only picking him by decision because I know how tough Vera is, but. At some point, man, like, 
He's going to be taking some bad, bad damage, you know, so. We'll see what happens, you know. Maybe Chico can make some changes from now until the fight in August. But, yeah, man, that's all I got for y'all. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe. Peace out. I'll be P.